but I ain't been feeling it lately. You say you love keeping me fly, but can't keep me from looking so crazy. Coming at six in the morning, where you been, where you been? Who is that texting your phone? Just a friend, just a friend. Okay. My intuition never Squad, it's your girl Caprice and I am back with another video and today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on this look that I am rocking right here. I wanted to do a cool tone look just because I don't have a lot of cool tone looks here on my channel, I don't think. Um, I'm more of a warm type of girl, the orange, the browns, the burnt reds, burnt reds, those type of colors, that's me. But today I wanted to do this monochromatic cool tone look and y'all, I am obsessed with this hair, with this new hair and this look y'all, I am definitely feeling myself. Um, I'm, I love the way that this look came out. Um, I used some oldie palettes and yes, I just pulled it all out and did this look. If you guys are new to my channel, thank you guys for clicking on this video. Welcome to the C Squad. Um, I'm glad to have you. I'm Caprice. And um, if you're an oldie but a goodie, you already know. Thank you guys for coming back and rocking with me. We're almost at 2K. Y'all, we're almost there. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. I know we can get to 2K by my birthday. I want to get to 2K by my birthday. So y'all got two months to get me to 2K. And then I'll have a little sum sum for you guys. So yeah. I'm not going to rabble on too much. I'm just going to go ahead and get into the tutorial. So if you guys want to see how I created this cool tone monochromatic look, then just go ahead and keep watching. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to prime my eyes. And to prime my eyes, I'm going to just use concealer. I'm going to take the chart chart. I'm going to take the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Deep. And then I'm just going to take this Maybelline in the shade uh, Sand Sable. And I'm just going to mix these two together. I'm just going to put these on my eyes just for my primer um, today. So we're just going to put this on the lid. Just like that. Get a new one of these because it's empty as hell. And then I'm just going to go on top with the, uh, the lighter one. I'm just gonna take it on this uh, Real Techniques uh, Deluxe Crease Brush. If y'all hear something, I'm watching um, Yumi Nache on live. So, yes, if y'all hear her talking, that's who I'm watching on live. Well, listening to now, because I told her I have to film a video. So, I'm just gonna take this and blend it out. Okay, so now that I got that done, I'm going to go in and set that. I'm going to use the CoverGirl um, Medium Translucent Powder, and I'm just going to use this to set it. And I'm going to use, I'm just going to use my e.l.f. Con what is this? Concealer brush, and I'm just going to set it. Y'all, she said, hey, like, she can't see y'all, but... She doing a look on YouTube, I mean on Facebook, so I'm watching her while I'm, while I'm filming this video. Okay, now that I got that set, I'm going to go in. I'm going for a more cooler tone look because I never do like super cool tone like grays and stuff like that. I never do that, so I'm going to do that today. And I'm going to use three palettes. I, I know that's a lot of palettes, but I just got to start using some of my older palettes that um, that I had before. So I'm going to be using the um, Pro palettes today. What I'm going to go in is this uh, Lorac Pro 2 palette. And I'm going to go into the shade uh, Cool Gray right here. As you guys can see, it's just a cool gray tone with a little bit of purple in it. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to go in. My brushes is so freaking dirty. Hopefully it don't be, you know, but um, hopefully it's okay. But yeah, I'm going to take that shade and put that in my crease for my transition.
So this is what we looking like right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing that I did so far with this other eye. Okay, so this is how we looking right now. Um, I'm going to go back into this palette and I'm going to take the shade Buff. It's this like beige bone color. Y'all know I love my brow bone to be like, like a bone color. So I'm just going to use that and put it on my brow bone. take that blending brush and go back into that first color I did and just go ahead and blend those into each other because you don't want no no harsh lines so this is gonna be like a monochromatic like type okay so now that we got that I'm going to take hold on let me clean some of this off because I got too much shit on this desk okay so now that I got that, I'm going to go in with this um, Color Tattoo Metals in Barely Branded. This is from Maybelline. This is just a Maybelline Color Tattoo. And I'm going to use this. Um, all I got is this. Okay, so I'm just going to take this on a M421 brush. And it's just like a flat concealer. I use this brush to um, to do my cut creases. But I'm, maybe I should just go on with my finger. So I'm just going to take my finger and go in there and I'm just gonna put this on the lid part right here where we have open. So this is what we looking like. Now I'm gonna go in to this oldie but goodie palette y'all if y'all watch me for a long time y'all know that the anastasia um shadow couture palette was my favorite palette like y'all this was my favorite palette i i love this palette like i still use this palette i need to bring this palette back but yes i'm gonna take this and i'm gonna take the pink champagne shade right here this pink champagne shade and i'm gonna put that right on top of where i placed that um Maybelline 24 hour tattoo that was just I was just using that for like a base so I'm just gonna take this on this little brush and just pack it on pack it on where I packed that and this color is so pretty base I'm gonna go back in with that for M the Morphe what is it 433 brush and just blend that out make sure everything's blended you don't want no harsh lines we're looking like for this I feel like I want to deepen it up just a little bit with some black like on outer edge so I'm gonna take this New York shade right here and I'm just gonna put a little bit just a little bit of black on the edge and I'm gonna use the E18 this little pencil brush and I'm just gonna barely just barely tap my brush in it barely tap my brush in it and I'm gonna take some of this off because I don't want a lot added a little bit of black to it I didn't want too much black gonna blend all those together so this is what we looking like for the eyes now I'm just gonna take this liquid liner 
and I'm just gonna draw like a line um, at my lash line just because I don't want no wing and I want to you know disguise the lash band so I'm just gonna take this liquid liner and just do a line going on top on top um, right as close to my lash line as I can get it so yes like I said this is the liquid eyeliner from um, wet and wild so and I'm gonna try to get it as close to the lash line as I can So now that we got that little liner, I'm gonna go in with my lashes off camera, and I'm just gonna use these. Um, I'm just gonna use these uh, Ardell Faux Mink lashes, y'all. These lashes is uh, so bomb. So I'm gonna go ahead and go off camera and apply these, and then we'll be back to start the face. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and start on the face. And to uh, moisturize, I'm gonna use my Elf Daily Moisturizer, y'all. You already know how I feel about this. This is a bomb. If your skin is extra dry or dry even, this is a good moisturizer. So I'm taking it that much. And I'm just going to put it all over my face. I think this was like $9. So... I'm going to uh, prime and I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Master Prime and this is in the um, hydrating and smooth one I definitely been loving this I definitely been loving this this has been making my uh, makeup last a long time I do notice and um, keep it like super hydrated because like I said, I do have dry skin. So I'm just going to focus it on this part and my forehead. And my camera is about to die. Now that we are primed and moisturized, now it's time to go in with the foundation. The foundation I'm going to be using is a newfound loved of mine. This is the Milani um, Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1. And I'm in the shade 11A Nutmeg. Y'all, my Walmart finally got these. And ever since I've gotten this, I have been loving this. This foundation is super freaking thick, but I love it. And I cannot get enough of it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this. Like this is why I have all these holes, and I don't know if y'all can see it, but I have all these little holes in there, and it's from this going on top of it. This coverage is Bone.com. So that's one squirt, and then I'll do another squirt. Or the other side now that we got foundation done next I'm gonna go in with concealers and I'm just gonna go in with the two concealers that I've been loving at the moment these are the fit me concealers I have been loving these I'm gonna take 30 cafe and 20 sand I'm gonna put the cafe one down first just because like it's my it's a little bit lighter than my skin tone so I like using this one first and then I go on top with the lighter one if y'all been watching me for a long time, y'all know I like my under eye concealer popping. So Yumi is singing home live. She's singing. She highlighted now. So okay. So now that we got that. Just gonna take the lighter one and just go on top.
Now I'm just going to go back in with that sponge and just blend out those edges. So there ain't no lines of demarcation. So. So now that I got that, I don't know what happened to my computer, but it went like dark. So I hope when I watch it back, it's not super dark, but I'm going to go back in with that CoverGirl powder and I'm just going to set those places um, that I put the concealer. So now you look like a fool with your pants on around. Now we're going to go and go back and set the rest of my face. And I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me powder in 355. And I'm just going to use this to set. And don't worry, y'all. I'm going to put my brushes tonight. But I'm going to use this powder brush and just go in and set where I didn't set. And also dust away. All that bakage. Bakage? What is bakage? That stuff you lose when you make it? Yes. Okay, so now that we got that set down, um, I am going to. What am I going to do next? I'm going to bronze. And y'all already know I'm going in with my CoverGirl Ebony Bronzer in Ebony. And I'm going to bronze up my skin. This is just going to bring some life back into the skin because now we're looking a little bit flat. So this is going to bring you back and make you look real snatched. I should be a rapper. Okay, now that I'm like super bronze, just go back in and, and fix that up. And I'm just going to go back into my powder and I'm just going to cut cut up my contour and make sure it's real snatched and looking real nice. So... Okay, so we ain't gonna do no brush today, so I'm gonna go ahead and just wipe, dust this away. So now it's time for highlighter. So I do have a highlighter that I wanna try, but I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but we gonna see. This is the e.l.f. Um, what is it? The e.l.f. Sunset Glow Highlighter. I want to try this one. I haven't used it yet, but this is what it looks like. Uh, yeah, it don't look like a highlighter, but I promise y'all it's a highlighter. So I'm just going to take this brush and I'm just going to spray it and we're just going to see, see how it looks. So I'm going to tap my brush in there. So I'm going to spray the brush again. Okay, so I'm going to go back to eyes. I'm not going to do any um, lower lash line. I'm just going to take this, um, what is this? This L'Oreal eyeliner. Um, I can never pronounce it, but I'll leave it down in the description. I'm just going to take this and just line my waterline. That's all I'm going to do. Because I just want it super simple at the bottom. Looking like, and then I'm just gonna go in 
with my Total Temptation mascara and just coat my, I don't know where it stopped at, but I'm just gonna take my mascara. looking like just like this I don't think I'm gonna put no dots so now it's time for lips I'm just gonna go in with this NYX uh, lip liner in the shade uh, what is this shade brown and I'm just going to line my lips I'm gonna take my MAC Stone. Y'all, I ain't used this in a long time, and I figured it would go perfect with this look. So I'm gonna use this for my lip combo today. 